Right, got a bit of a uh, downturn in the weather recently. Um, addressing the fueling issue. Can't get any fuel up to the engine bay. Um, total blockage. Just had, had the fuel tank off. Um, literally all I needed to get the fuel tank off was a pair of uh, bolt cutters. And one of those was all I needed. A pair of bolt cutters and a flathead screwdriver to undo a screw. And it just fell off, so that was easy. Uh, Going to mount the redneck tank in the boot again. So that's shed mark one, if you remember. We had similar issues on the first shed. Um, so this here will get mounted somewhere abandoned out there. Bore a few holes in the floor. Two copper lines. Job done. Right, I just mounted up the uh, new tank. Set in the corner there. The old cam bolt and screw mount. Can't beat it. Uh, as you can see, I'm just in the middle of um. Firing a hole through the floor, far easier than fucking drilling it. Smash that down through, have a look underneath, push the copper lines out, and we're almost done. Right, redneck tank's all fitted now, got your two lines in, just need to fill it up with fuel. Um, strapped in, piped up. Underneath, we've just, um, as before, just teed in to come down through the floor. Teed into the snap on fuel lines, which should then go up to the front end of the vehicle. Ideal. Ow. Well, I wasn't really holding it at all, that's the thing. It's just meant. That's more like it. Right, here you go now. I think we still got issues with them. Um, it is firing officially, we've only got two lines on, so it won't stay running. I think we're going to have to make up some other lines if I'm. Right, um, the intended extra long delivery lines we had aren't going to work because they're DI uh, threaded on the end, which won't work on this because this is old DI. So we're having to join injector lines together, so I've just bent loads of lines in position. We have one join here and one join over here. Um, uh, eventually we'll also double the length of the original ones because it's never good having long lines. And as, as for the join, uh, that basically involves welding two delivery valves together, which well, is does. not particularly brilliant. Oh. <laughs> oh, is that one finished, boys? Yes, is it airtight? I, well, I'm just about to try that now. Doing a few adjustments to the pump. Um, sadly, this is actually a pretty baby pump. We got it cheap on eBay, but it's got five and a half mil elements in it, so it's not really capable of flowing much fuel. And I like the 11 mil VE that was on the uh, before would theoretically have moved a lot more fuel, but we're just going to max this out anyway. Um, due to a cl cl cover clearance issue, I've actually had to grind the end off the uh, full load screw and off the idle, well, of course, idle. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I've made quite a few adjustments now, so I'll get it back together and put it back on. Right, uh, newly repaired camera. We're mounting the radiator in the transit because it's been a job that's needed doing for about three weeks and I haven't got around to it. Uh, so I thought I'd better get it done before we destroy the engine. So we're just uh, plumbing her in. As you can see, the uh, inline pump is on and running. Not tuned yet, I need yeah, bigger I elements. Uh, I haven't done that video yet, actually, no. I might get that up before this one. <laughs> Don't know, we'll see. 
see what's going on. Right, a bit of plumbing required. Right, radiator system's finished, or well, pretty much complete for a minute. Need to put a fan on, but she's filled with water, all bled, running like a dream. Other than one slight technical issue is the pump seal's gone, so she's pissing out water. I think that might be because we've been running the dry for so long. A little bit of a leak there. Other than that, so she's working up. like a dream. I fire yeah. up on the key. Oh yeah, I've got the key working again nowadays. For the last two weeks we've been having to short the wire to start it. <clears throat> 